Now, with just a few weeks left before children return to school, can you believe it? A new shop in Plymouth is hoping to help families who can't afford to buy new school uniforms. People behind the store say council figures show there are more than 10,000 children living in poverty in the city. Child poverty rates here in the southwest have been improving over the past five years, but analysis of the latest government figures show there are huge parts of the region where around a third of children are living in homes which meet that official definition of child poverty. In terms of percentages, in Cornwall it's 29, Plymouth 31, West Dorset 24 and West Somerset 31%. And as Ben Wolven reports, charities are warning the pandemic could make things harder for our poorest families. It was once a shop selling women's wear. Now it's the uniform store Plymouth, a place where children come to collect free school clothes. The best shop ever for a school uniform, way cheaper than the, well, for free, way cheaper than the others. For Laura Rose's family, a free uniform means more food. Being able to have like, more heating on, being able to use more electricals, a bit more food on the table for the children, you know, just anything like that, really. Karen is looking for clothes for two of her three children. When the virus hit, she was off work caring for her youngest. The pandemic, she says, has massively messed up her family finances. It was a big strain. Is your partner working? Yes, he's self-employed, though. So, and he's very new to himself, so... It's not like he was a big company. He's very small. Her daughter, Holly, says having the right kit matters. Um, the teachers always want you to have, like, the right things. We always, always have to have, like, our T-shirt sucks and they always point out if you have stains and things on. This place is amazing. This has helped out for, like, loads walking in. We just walked past, noticed. Um, I did get told about it to come in and have a look. Um, but, yeah, it's helped out because... I'm able to help finish kitting them out without having to cost a fortune. It makes me feel better because you, I know it's, it's a lot cheaper for mum. In March, a survey by the Children's Society found nearly a quarter of parents said the cost of school uniform had meant their child wearing ill-fitting, unclean or incorrect clothes to school. The charity says the average spend on school uniform is now more than £300 per child per year. But this place isn't just about money. Because of the COVID restrictions, everyone gets a personal shopper. It's not like a rummage jumble sale, you know. They'll go through and we've, we've got time to spend with them, talking about their children, helping them, you know, and just being uh, showing a bit of love and grace and mercy in uh, what is a difficult world. The pop-up shop here is open three days a week for a month. Ben Wolvin, BBC Spotlight, Plymouth. Well, Joseph Howes is CEO of child poverty charity Buttle UK and Dr Sam Royston is Director of Policy and Research at the Children's Society. Dr Royston, if I can come to you first, 10,000 children in child poverty in Plymouth alone. Does that surprise you? Well, it's horrifying, but sadly not surprising. We know that more than 4 million children live in poverty across the UK. And for each of those children, there's a story behind that, a story of families in debt, a sto stories of uh, poor quality housing, too often stories of children facing low well-being and mental health concerns as a result of uh, living in poverty. And it shouldn't be the case that in the 21st century uh, in Britain, uh, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, uh, a single child lives in poverty, let alone more than four million. And Mr Howes, Buttle UK has helped thousands of children over many, many years. How have things changed? What are you hearing? Well, a recent report from frontline workers working with vulnerable children um, has told us that it's had an incredibly damaging effect on children and young people, um, particularly affecting their mental health, their education, but also just affecting their basic needs that they have in the house and they're unable to provide for these needs. And do you think we've seen the worst of it or will things get even worse as we emerge from this pandemic? Well, we're particularly concerned at Buttle about the um, start of children's education in September. How many of the uh, children we're talking about haven't been able to prepare for um, going back to school. Their routine is not there. They haven't had uh, any homeschooling whatsoever, some of these. And they've also been lacking those basic uh, essential items like laptops, connectivity, 
and we're funding some of these um, school clothes so that they can go back in suitable clothes uh, for school. And Dr Royston, you're nodding in agreement there. I mean, the Children's Society is saying that it costs the average spend around £300 a year. Um, what's the real cost to children here? We know that for too many children, um, the cost of school uniform can lead to um, going into school in incorrect uniform, uh, ill-fitting uniform, in some cases even unclean uniform as a result of not being enough, able to uh, to buy enough items of clothing to keep to keep them all clean through the course of the week. Um, and in some cases it can even lead to children missing out on school, being sent home as a result of wearing the wrong uniform. And it can't be right that children are missing their education as a result of the cost of school uniform. And that's why we need to see more, to, more being done by the government to make sure every school is putting an affordable uniform policy in place. I, I feel ashamed that these children are ashamed. I think the government should feel ashamed and we need to get this cross-party uh, long-term strategy to end child poverty. It has been a long, long time and how bad does it have to get? Mr Howes and Dr Royston, thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for your emails on that subject as well.